It's the end of November and this is the crap I've been using this month. I'm gonna start with everyone's favorite, lip products. I talked quite a bit of smack about this. I did the Sephora favorites, give me some more lip set video situation, which I'll link somewhere up and down. But um, this is Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the color Bond Girl. And I, I talked so much crap about this. Look at that color. It's so pretty. I think it's like really pretty now, but this has become one of my favorites. It is such a unique berry color. I really don't think I've found anything this unique. Um, ever like i tested out a bunch of my other lipsticks there are some that are similar but nothing is quite the same and i've been using this so much now I'm, I'm sure the packaging is making me like i just feel so bougie when i take this out i'm like i'm not wearing it on my lips right now but um i do have swatches in that video if you want to check it out love this i don't know if i would pay 34 i think it's 34 or 24 for a full-sized thing of this but it was definitely worth it in that set i just I love this mostly for the color. I don't really know about the, the lasting power is not that great. And um, in terms of formula, it's not my favorite formula. I just really love the color and the packaging. It's just so, I feel so bougie, like it's holiday time. I just wanna feel fancy, okay, let me live. The next thing I have is an e.l.f. lip lacquer. So basically clear lip gloss. I really wanted, for some reason, got into this like rabbit hole where I was like, I need the Glossier clear lip gloss. And I like searched for dupes and people were like yelling at each other like, bro, it's literally clear lip gloss. So. I ended up just picking up this e.l.f. clear lip gloss and I love it. It's just so, like, this one's not sticky. It actually feels very moisturizing on the lips, which is interesting. Um, it feels almost like I'm wearing lip balm, but it looks like gloss and I love that I can layer it over anything. Personally, I like kind of staining my lips like a natural pink and then putting this over it and it just kind of looks like you're naturally fabulous. The next product is a mascara. Um, actually, the next two products I'm going to talk about are both from my holiday gift set video from last, like, December. And I just cracked this baby open, like, a week ago. About a week ago. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. And I'm really, really liking it. I know this is, like, a cult favorite mascara, and I'd actually never tried it until now. And I really, really like it. It's, um... It's just... It gets the job done. I need more volume than length. Like, I would rather have thick lashes than long lashes, so I love that this really pumps up the volume and it's about like eight bucks, like, come on. The next thing is this sleek makeup highlighting palette in the color Solstice 032. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So this is a cream highlighter and then it has three powder highlights. So it's got like a yellowy powder highlight, a champagne-y pink, uh, kind of a lavender-y one, and then a champagne-y pink cream highlight. I've been using this pink one the most, the champagne pink, but um, I like all of them. It's such an affordable palette. It's so cute, like the packaging is cute. Everything about it is just so cute. And it was about $10. It came with a little brush that I threw away, obviously, or didn't throw away, but I have it like elsewhere because I don't actually use it for highlighting. But um, I've given so many of these as gifts. I highly recommend this. I They had a holiday set last year I got I think for about 10 bucks and it had a metallic lip product in it, which I didn't like. I gave to my mom though, she likes it. But this is definitely one of my faves. Affordable highlighting palette, it's a great quality. I'm wearing the champagne pink color on my cheekbones and on my, the tip of my nose right now, so look at that. It's blinding and it's such a great quality highlighter for such a great price. The next thing I've been using a ton is Black Opium by YSL. Oh, it's so, it just reminds me of the holidays it's a very regal scent it's beautiful it smells good i love the packaging and um i hate trying to describe perfume so next time you're in the store just go smell it or something um but i really like this it's very long lasting very musky without being too heavy and it's also a little bit sweet so it's kind of the perfect combination it makes me feel like i live on fifth avenue in new york city during christmas time does that make sense the next product i want to talk about is a skincare product and it's this aztec um, secret Indian Healing Clay. It seems like it's one of the most popular facial products I've seen around. Everyone loves it, everyone talks about it, and it is literally just 100% calcium bentonite clay. I used this the other day, and you can mix it with anything, but uh, people usually mix it with apple cider vinegar. I mix this with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water, but I think next time I'm just gonna do water because I'm a little bit too worried about it being too harsh on my skin. Um, I really like this product. I just like that you get so much for like, what, seven or eight dollars 
versus like buying a little mask in the tube, which is always like really overpriced. And then you can customize it. You can find recipes, make your own masks, use it for different things. You don't have to use this just for a mask. You can use it for a lot of things. So huge fan of this. And uh, I think I got mine on Amazon. I did see it on sale at Vitamin Shop recently for about seven or eight dollars, so I would get it there. The next thing I want to talk about is a really cute pair of sunglasses I've been loving. They're by a brand called Crap Eyewear, and yeah, Crap, C-R-A-P. It is a small, like, independent little sunglasses shop in Santa, Santa Monica, I think? It's in LA. So look at this cute little packaging. It comes with a little crap sticker that I'm going to put on my laptop, and then it says, don't worry, be crappy. Thank you for that. I needed that motivation. Um, we're an independent sunglass brand designed and tested beachside in Los Angeles, California, dedicated to creating funky, premium quality eyewear at a price we can all afford. 100 protection from UV rays and bad vibes, guaranteed. It's just so cute. So it came in this little box, which is hard to take out, but you take it out of the little packaging box and then it comes with a cute, I believe this is like actual leather. Um, and the inside says, don't worry, be crappy. Look at that. Oh, I can't, I don't know if you can see it. But it's so cute and it's like this navy blue case. And then these are the, these are called the velvet mirror. And I got them, look at that, oh, so bougie. The first pair they sent to me were actually a little like lopsided, not even like a little lopsided. They were like straight up like wonky. So they were so sweet and they sent me a replacement pair. Um, but it's it's just such a beautiful pair of sunglasses and uh, because I've been down that into the gloss rabbit hole That's where I saw this as one of the monthly favorites and it's actually on sale for like 50 bucks right now versus 70 But these are made from premium acetate and really really great quality lenses. So it's like a heavy really Premium feeling sunglass for not $300. So um, I love this. I got the tortoise like the demi I think it's called Havana demi tortoise shell. They also have them in black and white Love supporting small um, independent brands, so would definitely check this out. I'll link them in the description. The next thing I want to talk about is again something I got last year, but um, there are similar things available. This beautiful checked plaid coat by Zara. It's like an outerwear coat, so it's not like the the plaid blazer that I hauled in my Black Friday video. This has um, a lot of navy and kind of neutral tones to it. It's just so beautiful. But actually, I think originally it was like $180 or something. I always wait, like I said in my Black Friday video as well. I, I just like to buy things on sale. I rarely pay full price for anything. I think I ended up getting this for about $40 during their like end of the year sale. I will link some similar coats that look like this, but there's nothing exactly like it, but they're very, very similar. Another major favorite of mine is right there, <laughs> this little candle that's burning. It's a three-wick candle from Bath & Body Works in the scent leaves. I know this was like a whole YouTuber revelation back in the day. I actually never owned this candle until now because my friend Ashley was like, I need leaves, I need leaves. So like, so one day we just ended up going to Bath and Body Works and we were like, YOLO, we're getting leaves candles, and, but we were not gonna pay full price. So they were on sale for half off. So we got, I got this one for $12 and I'm waiting for like their other sales so I can get a few more candles, but loving this. I just feel like I don't really burn candles throughout the year, but during the holidays, it just feels so cozy and warm and just, it feels so nice to have a candle burning in the house. So that's definitely become one of my favorites leaves. Um, I do eat pretty low carb, so I try not to have too much added sugar or sugar in general, but um, this chocolate brand I found I'm in love with. This is Lily's chocolate and these are pretty pricey. They're like three to five dollars. Well, for me, that's pricey. I'm sure for any like chocolate connoisseur, they're not, but they're about three to five dollars a bar. But oh my gosh, especially the salted almond one, salted almond milk chocolate. These are sweetened with stevia so they don't have any actual sugar in them essentially. Um, it's just cocoa, cocoa butter, vanilla, and like unsweetened chocolate etc etc but I love this one because it's crunchy it has like the milk chocolate and the salt and the almonds oh my gosh it's so good um, and then the dark chocolate with almonds is also good but highly recommend this I get mine from Kroger I can't find them anywhere else so if you have a Kroger around you and you feel like checking these out they're really delicious another slightly sweet snack I've been loving lately um, this has a little bit of sugar in it but I don't eat that many that's I think the point of this is like to satisfy like that slight urge for like super sweet stuff and it's these emerald cocoa roasted almonds that I get from Target. And um, almonds are just great for you, high fat, good fat, and protein and whatnot, but they're just so delicious and they're cocoa-y and powdery and they're so delicious. 
One other thing I really like is this pure gum. Um, and it's aspartame free. It's actually only got xylitol in it, which is great for your teeth. And I've just been trying to chew less gum in general because I felt like I was like always chewing gum. So I bought Pure and I like that it doesn't have aspartame and it doesn't have, um, let's see, it's sugar free, it's vegan, it's not in peanut free, it's Swiss made and it's soy free. And all it has is xylitol in it. So it's still sugar free. So love Pure Gum. That is everything I loved this month, honestly. That was a lot of stuff. Um, thank you for bearing with me if you made it this far, but let me know what your favorite things were and what you liked this month, what you've been using a lot this month. I would love to know, and I will see you in my next video.